John Salter Jr. and his son, John the Third John Jr., is a was a faculty member of the University of North Dakota that was scheduled for a speaking tour of the southern states. It was in March 1988 when he, accompanied by his son, drove his pickup truck down Route 61 heading for his first engagement. For some unknown reason, John drove his truck off of his scheduled route and one hour later, the two found themselves traveling in the opposite direction and they decided to take a rest for the night and continue their trip the next morning. The two men were at a loss to understand what had happened the evening before, though they discussed it at length as they confirmed and continued down their original mapped out drive. Suddenly the two were shocked to see a shining UFO with a silvery energy field. The object had just appeared over the road that they were on and him and his son both had a familiar feeling about what they were seeing. And they began to have flashbacks which refreshed their minds of the events of the previous day. They looked at each other both now aware that the day before they had been stopped dead in their tracks by the object they were now enthralled with. Both men had stepped out of the vehicle as a group of aliens came towards their pickup truck. At first John Jr. thought he was seeing a group of children until he saw a taller being which seemed half human, half alien. The group of strange beings led the two men away in the direction of the object and the two men, though frightened in one way, felt that the alien beings would not hurt them. John Jr. would later relate that he felt a sense of being protected by the stranger entities, and he had taken a stumble while they were making their way to the ship, but a type of energy kept him from falling and being hurt. John and his son were both led into a room with curved walls, where they were placed in chairs which resembled the foldback type used by dentists. Both men would later recall a feeling of being immobilized while they laid back in the chairs and were examined. John's examination began with an implant being inserted into his nostril, remarkably though without pain. Next, an instrument of some kind was injected into the side of his neck and another one at the top of his chest. He felt the three areas chosen by the beings had a medical significance. The placement related to three glands, the pituitary, the thyroid, and the thymus. John had enough medical no knowledge to know that the three glands regulated human growth, metabolism, and immunity. After the completion of the tests, John felt a strange sense of bonding with the strange alien beings, and he also sensed a message which stated that they would meet again. These strange circumstances would take an even more bizarre turn. After John and his son returned home, John noticed a gradual improvement in his overall health. His fingernails and hair grew faster and thicker, and a scar on his forehead began to fade and eventually almost disappeared. Another amazing fact that he related was that though he was a smoker who struggled with the desire to quit, he was now able to quit without even thinking about it. To both of the Salter men, the abduction seemed to have an, a happy ending. They went on to talk about it. I had a close encounter with friendly aliens and it changed my body in numerous ways. My immunity is heightened. Cuts and scratches now clot immediately and heal rapidly. My head hair, fingernails, and toenails are growing two to three times the normal rate. Some of my age spots have disappeared and the wrinkles in my face have faded. Also, hair has developed all over my arms, legs, stomach, and chest, which were almost hairless. And for the first time in my life, my beard is so thick and dark, I have a five o'clock shadow. John and his son say they were abducted by aliens while driving in a pickup on Central Wisconsin's Highway 14 on March 20th, 1988. Um, it's twilight, about 6.25 p.m. when we came to a stretch of a four-lane highway. The next thing we knew, it was 7.45 p.m. 
and neither John nor I could account for the missing time. The next day we were driving when we saw a bright light coming towards us. It was about two thirds the width of a double highway and glowing with an extraordinary silver color. We could make out its saucer-like form and it had a slight dome. Then with the incredible speed, it was gone. My son and I immediately realized this was a friendly appearance for us and it explained the missing time the previous night. We were forced off the highway by an unseen force, and then we were standing not far from the passenger side of the pickup, and it was almost dark. I saw two or three small humanoid beings climbing up the back bumper, looking at the gear in the back of my truck. The beings were four to four and a half feet tall, with thin bodies and thin limbs, but comparatively large heads and large slanted eyes. There were also six or seven of these small people near us and a taller humanoid figure, almost six feet tall. They all communicated with us telepathically and the tall humanoid guided us through the woods to their spacecraft, which was hidden in a secluded clearing. My next memory is that of a brightly lit room in the UFO. An implant was placed in my right nostril and beyond. An injection was made in my neck at the thyroid area Another injection was made in my central chest near the thymus gland, and our tall friend guided us back to the pickup, and we then parted company on a friendly basis. Then the brightly lit UFO took off, and we drove back to the highway where we regained our memory. In addition to John's other physical changes, he says he now has psychic abilities plus two reminders of his visit with the aliens. Occasionally, a red welt appears on the right side of his neck and a brown spot surfaces on a chest. And his son went on to say this was the most extraordinary event of his life. And John goes back to say, people dismiss experiences related to UFOs as being impossible, but Dr. Salter has solid credentials and I'm keeping an open mind. This has been your host, Luke. Like this video if you liked it, subscribe for more. I hope you have a great day and thanks for watching.